Welcome back. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question, visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com. Dr. Shabir, the question here is, according to the Quran, who is responsible for Jesus' alleged crucifixion? Was it the Jews or the Romans? Okay, so this one is a complicated question, Sophia. So I have to unpack it and then, and then answer it in parts. So the first part I would ask is, you know, does the Quran show that Jesus was actually crucified? Now, crucified can have two meanings, basically. Um, if, if we, let's say we put a person on the cross, and for some reason we changed our minds, we don't want to kill him, we take him back down, you might say the person was crucified, meaning that that person was hung on the cross. Mm. Uh, but in another sense, you might say, no, he wasn't crucified because it, it, the, the, the whole point of the crucifixion was to kill him by that method. Uh, it was a form of execution, and, and, and we didn't complete it, so we, he wasn't crucified. So mm -hmm. crucified could mean, uh, on the one hand, merely hanging a person on a cross, but on the other hand, it can mean uh, executing the person by means of hanging him on the cross. So when the Quran says in Surah 4, verse 157, they killed him not, nor did they crucify him, uh, it seems to be asserting two things. On the one hand, they didn't kill him, and on the other hand, they didn't crucify him. Uh, so uh, the Muslim commentators generally took this to mean that the Quran is denying both uh, aspects. Uh, on the one hand, the Quran is denying that he was killed. And on the other hand, the Quran is also denying that he was even put on the cross. But then, if he wasn't put on the cross, how do we have all these gospel stories that say that uh, he was put on the cross? And, and in details that he was there and people were jeering at him and, and, and so on. And eventually he was taken down dead, according to the gospels, and then put in the tomb. And then a couple of days later, he was seen uh, by his disciples who were convinced that he came back to life after having been dead. How do we have all these stories? So the Muslim commentators, having to deal with all of these, uh, said, well, somebody else was made to look like Jesus and that person was put on the cross. Mm. And so that's how all these stories could, uh, you know, people can see him on the cross because it was actually somebody else looking like him. Mm. But to, to many Muslims today, it seems unnecessary to uh, read all of this into the Quranic text. It, it seems that Surah 4 verse 157 uh, most likely means that while they thought they were completing the job and actually finishing the task of killing him uh, by this means of crucifixion, they didn't actually kill him by that means. So there is a bit of repetition and overlap, of course, in the double statement, ma qatulubu, ma they kill him not, nor do they crucify him. But it's really meant to emphasize the same thing, that it didn't really uh, finish this job of executing Jesus. It appeared to them that Jesus died on the cross, but he wasn't actually dead. Maybe he was in a coma uh, or in a deep uh, state of suspended animation, and eventually he was revived by God, healed, and taken up into heaven um, uh, where you know, God, he awaits uh, his second coming. Uh, so given that uh, introduction <laughs> now, so, so now who who's, killed, the who, who's the they? Who's the they that we're talking they, right? about? Yes. So the they, uh, the Quran is saying that the, the, the Jewish opponents of Jesus uh, were boasting. And these are opponents at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. They are making this boast. And probably they are making this boast based on what they have read in their Talmud, uh, where it speaks about a certain person who was accused of uh, misleading the people by magic. And uh, he was given time to repent, but he didn't repent. And they called witnesses and they uh, made sure everything was done uh, according to proper judicial procedures. And eventually he was hanged on the eve of uh, Passover. Uh, many scholars think that this is a reference to Jesus in the, in the Talmud. And so we can understand why people would be boasting who are following this and thinking this to be their sacred scripture. Uh, they're saying, okay, this is what we have done as a nation. But the Quran is saying, no, they didn't do that. Uh, so who uh, might have put Jesus on the cross? The Quran does not actually say this, uh, but we know from history that at the time in question, it was the Romans who were in power. And if anyone would have crucified anyone, it would have been the Romans who would crucify. So most historians think that uh, Jesus was crucified under uh, the, um, the, the, the procurator uh, Pontius uh, Pilate, um, and that, um, you know, it was not the Jews who were responsible, but the Gospels tried to make the Jews responsible for that. And that gave right to, rise to a lot of anti-Semitism throughout the ages. Uh, but the Quran is saying, no, the Jews did not do this. Mm -hmm. But who did it? The Quran did, does not actually say. Thank you for that, Akshibir. You're quite welcome.
If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe. And please donate to support our work at QuranSpeaks.com.